Hey YouTubers, welcome to Homebrewed Engineering. In this video, we will be assembling the camera gimbal that I have been designing. This is the first prototype, everything laid out on the table. Um, I printed all the parts out of ABS plastic on my 3D printer. They are all over here. Um, I used 10 millimeter carbon fiber tube and some aluminum that I cut out on my CNC router. Um, the idea behind this gimbal was that it is fully adjustable to work with most any consumer cameras, including things like external microphones or lights you want to adapt. That way you can move the camera around and get it balanced correctly um, so that there's less work for the motors. So. I guess with that introduction, we will get started. The first thing that we will put together is the camera tray. Um, this is the aluminum piece out of it. You can see it is a marvelous piece of machining, right? Um, this is the first piece of aluminum that I cut on the CNC. So there was a lot of learning going on in this. And for the purposes of the prototype, this works just fine. So we'll need that piece. Um, and then we need two double rail slides. And we can use that one. And we can use that one. These go like so underneath. And the idea behind that is that these can slide on two rails to move back and forth. <clears throat> I have, as you can see, I have countersunk the four holes so that the fasteners are below the surface so that the camera can fit in any position it needs to. plastic pieces that will mount the upright poles. That will allow that will hold the carbon fiber tubes out that will attach to the motor. For that I have installed four millimeter set screws. And that is the camera platform. From there, we will put this to the side we will move on to the bearing assembly. For that, we will need these pieces, one of these, one of these, two of these actually, two of these. For all of the pieces, I have pressed and threaded inserts into all the holes so that I could have proper thread engagement on these parts. That way I didn't have to worry about stripping out the plastic. And I've already pressed the bearing inside of this part. Um, the shaft on this is, I don't know if you can tell, is actually a short piece of carbon fiber tubing because I wasn't comfortable with using the plastic as 
the inner shaft so we can assemble this. That is the assembly of the free side of the cable tray. And we will put that to the side. And we'll move on to the next part. The uh, next piece we're going to work on is the first motor to control the pitch. So that will need the gimbal motor. Um, a single shaft clamp with a cap and then this special piece with a clamp. And what is special about this versus the other one is it is quite a bit thicker than a normal single clamp. And the reason for that is it has this nice pocket inside for the position sensor. To hold that in place, a piece of double-sided sticky tape. Tighten them down. For this one, I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different. I'm going to install the tube early. And then when you loosen these, you'll be able to slide and adjust the camera and not have to worry about the wires. And that finishes the gimbal motor part for the camera tray. The next section will be the gimbal motor that connects the base of the system down to the um, two bars that control the roll of the camera. For that, we'll need two double pull 
clamps and their corresponding tops. The second gimbal motor is ready. The final sub-assembly is going to be the uh, yaw control motor with the control board and the space to hold the battery. For, these, for that we'll need these pieces and four uprights. The first thing we can do is attach the motor to the top plate. This motor is much larger than the other ones because this is going to be a 360 gimbal, um, which means that the battery pack the um, controller, the camera, all of the weight's going to be underneath it, um, and the wires are going to be hanging down to the on the base, whichever is attached on this side. Um, doesn't have to worry about wire tangle or wire wire spinning. So this can just continue to spin 360 degrees. Um, after the motor is attached to the first plate. The second plate has the rail guides attached to the underside. is the controller chassis. USB on the back. There's a sight glass down here. Probably you kind of see it. So you can see what the LEDs are doing. The battery will sit in between here. Motor will hang from this or be on top depending on your set up. So we can put that here. To start final assembly, just have to put a couple pieces together and we are ready to go.
And there we go. We have a camera gimbal assembly complete. You have your yaw, you have your roll, you have your pitch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I enjoyed showing you all how to fit together the version one of the fully adjustable camera gimbal. On the next part, we will mount my GoPro camera to the, um, to the gimbal. We'll get everything balanced and I will show you how to connect all the wires together um, so that we can get the electronic system working. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next one.